What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited about this video. So let's just get straight into it. I do get this question asked all the time. Are police shows and crime shows on TV really portraying what it's like to be a police officer? Well, that's a good question. Let's break it down real quick. I do want to answer the kind of the number one question I get asked all the time. Do you have a shop? And in the show, The Rookie, they call their police car or patrol car the shop. Bradford saying to one of the rookies, It's not a cop car, squad car, or black and white. It's a shop. It's where you work. First, we examine the exterior. Now, the question was, did I call my patrol car the shop? We would never refer to the patrol car as the shop. First of all, is it realistic? Now, I would say certain parts of the show called The Rookie are realistic. As someone who went through field training not too long ago, the first season is pretty true. Like true to what it's like to be a police officer, going through field training and what that entails. When I graduated the academy, they put me into a field training regimen, which actually the police department that I was at actually followed uh, California's field training uh, regimen or guide, if you will. And it's about three months of field training and it's three phases, phase one, phase two and phase three. Now in the show, The Rookie, it's pretty much the same thing they go through each phase, phase one, two, and three, and each phase gets harder and harder. And in each phase comes different field training officers. Some are really nice and some can be not so nice. It kind of depends on who you get and if they're having a good day or a bad day or choose to just be a grumpy person the entire phase. So in terms of phases, The Rookie actually portrays it pretty well. Now, we understand that it's a show and you have to get shot at almost every single episode. And I can't really speak to that because I don't live in California and I didn't work in California, but maybe the police officers who are watching this who are in California, do you get shot at every single day? Are you shooting your gun every single day? I don't really know. Comment down below though. In that show, The Rookie, the field trainees would be shooting at suspects or bad guys. And the very next day or the next shift, they'd be back on the street without any kind of like investigation. And that's kind of where maybe that's not so true. Depending on how long the investigation goes, you might be out on admin lean for about two to four weeks, depending on just how long it is. I understand it though, it's Hollywood. Of course, they should be shooting at the bad guys because a bad guy shot at them. Like it makes sense, but in the real world, you wouldn't go back on the street the very next shift or the very next day. Like you're gonna be out for a little bit just because there's a lot of things that go when you shoot your gun as a police officer. With using your firearm on duty, they do go through kind of the repercussions or kind of what happens to a person when you do shoot someone or use your firearm on duty. It can be, I've had friends who have been in those situations and it does take a toll on your mind and your body. And sometimes it can it can be rough for some people and some can just truck along and hey, that's part of the job, that's what happened. And they can, you know, they can put it in like kind of like a box of this is what happened on that call, this is what I needed to do and I did it. And others are kind of like, oh man, they really struggle with it and they oftentimes want to quit or really think about quitting and leaving because they couldn't handle that. And The Rookie does kind of touch on that just a little bit. I wish they would go more into that because it is psychological and it is something that police officers should be prepared to go through because it's not a matter of if it's gonna happen, it's when it's going to happen. I'm up in shop, where are we? Front and cherry northeast corner. After season one, it kind of became like, okay, Mission Impossible style TV show where they would go to different countries as police officers and and work cases down there and try to catch bad guys. They'd be jumping out of helicopters and like doing all this cool stuff out of country. I just, it's not something that you would do as a police officer in my experience and who I've talked to. Like you just go to your shift, you clock in, you do your two or three days in a row and then you're off for a couple days and then you do it again and then you're off on the weekend. Uh, so it's not like you're gonna go work, then on your off days, you're Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 3 and fighting bad guys across the country or even in the rookie show in different countries. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> but I think it's kind of funny that they put that in there because they kind of have to make it, again, it's Hollywood. They have to make it more entertaining, 
for you and me, the viewer and consumer, to keep watching this show and to keep recommending this show. So I get it, but overall, it's not, that's not what you do as a police officer. The one thing that the rookie did get right is running after suspects. And in this show, they, they do run quite a bit. And it's California. And of course, there's a lot of alleyways, buildings, and just people are going to run because guess what? Bad guys don't want to get caught by the police. I don't know if you guys knew this, but ironically, they don't want to go to jail or back to jail. And so the cardio aspect is very true. When I was going through the academy, I would post my journey. People would always ask me in the comments, Johnny, what should I do? How should I exercise to be prepared for the academy and a police officer? I can tell you right now, you could be, you could be really, really buff and ripped, but when someone is fighting you and you're trying to get someone's hands behind their back and they're on the ground and they're like this and they're not gonna give you their hands, no matter how strong you are, you're not going to be able to pry those hands open. So the cardio is for real. I mean, you should be in jujitsu, learning different kinds of moves and keeping that cardio up because if you do have to run after someone, you're going to be running and if they're fast, well, then you just got smoked. The last thing that I want to touch on on The Rookie uh, is specifically the type of calls that officers are going to. Now, some days can be very boring and other days and other shifts, it's like, oh my gosh, we're 15 calls in and it's like the first four hours. Some shifts are like the first two or three hours, you're like at 20, 20 calls already and you're just thinking this is going to be a long shift. But I will say The Rookie, it seemed like the type of calls they would go to was always high energy, really high intensity, like, you know, very lethal calls and it could be dangerous. Not that every call isn't dangerous, but when I was a police officer, I would say, I don't know, like two or three out of five calls were, you know, something that could be dealt with just by talking or trying to figure out what's going on. And then the, the rest were maybe like more high intense, high intensity calls. Some may disagree, like I said, other nights would be higher up. Other nights would just be like less busy. So uh, the, the rookie really portrays as if you're an officer in California, you're going to calls and you're gonna be doing this, which makes sense because there's more people in California, there's more gangs, it's dangerous to be in California or certain parts of California. So I understand and maybe that part isn't as much of Hollywood per se, but it really can be more dangerous for police officers going call to call in California versus somewhere like, I don't know, in Kentucky. If you guys think I missed anything in this video comparing the rookie to real world police officer, please comment down below and maybe I'll make another video on it. But until then, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.